Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It is so nice to finally meet you. So today I thought I would, it's actually October 2nd and I was playing around in my Hobonichi last night. Grab it. In my A5 hone and I realized it's October already and <laughs> I thought I would just decorate this front page for October for fun. I recently got my Neat Stuff Sticker Club subscription from Mindy Lacefield and I thought I would just kind of open it up. Well, I already opened it, but show you guys all the contents and then I'm going to decorate um, I'm going to decorate this front page using some of her stuff or at least, you know, use one of the one or two of the stickers as like a jumping off point. Um, kind of for inspiration type thing. So she included, she always includes lots of really great, cute things in her, in her kits. So. There's always a pack of scratch and sniff stickers and <laughs> they're so cute. Look at him. He's a little, I think the, um, the scent of this one is like pumpkin donut or something like that. And I could tell you he smells really, really good. Mm. Do you guys remember scratch and sniff stickers from when you were a kid? They're so fun. I actually ordered more. She has, she had a couple more um, newer sets and I was able to get one of them, but one of them sold out before I was able to get it, but they're really cute Halloween ones. And that is actually somewhere else. So maybe I'll grab it a little bit later if I feel like I want to use them. Look at this, Jack Skellington gingerbread. He is so cute. I think actually this is going to be the piece that I'm going to use as my inspiration or like kind of the main piece on my October page, I think. And then we get another sheet of stickers. This is a die cut sheet. So cute. She has a way of making scary things look really, really cute or things that are supposed to be scary. And this sticker says it was designed by Jossie Posse or Josie Posse. I don't, I don't know how you say her name exactly, but there's two S's in there. So it leads me to believe it's Jossie Posse, but I could totally be wrong. But it's a little stack of mugs and it's so cute. And these stickers, by the way, they're really thick. So they're, they're vinyl stickers. They're not very thin. <laughs> they're not cheap. They're not going to rip. But anyway, this one is really neat. This one's an embossed sticker, which I don't think she's ever included this kind of sticker before, where the edges of the drawing are embossed, which is really cool. I got to find a really neat purpose for this sticker and not just slap it on one of my pages. I think I need to put it on a cover of something. But it's so cute. It's a little owl with a hat, a witch's hat, and just so cute. And then we have a couple ghosts. These um, stickers are a little bit thinner. They're not, I don't think they're vinyl. These are just matte sticker paper. And then she includes a trading card with each subscription order and were, they're made so you could put the, um, the scratch and stiff, the scratch and sniff sticker of the month on there. <laughs> so that's really cute. And she has an album if you want to collect all of the trading cards in an album. And then we have Sally to go with Jack Skellington. So cute. 
And then this says, I love you, a bushel on a peck. A little scarecrow. So yeah, I just kind of want to decorate. Mm. Excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee. I just want to decorate this October page right here with some stickers and some washi. And I even took out some stamps and ink. Um, I tried to stamp in my Hobonichi before. Let's see if I can find it. And the ink kind of bled through. I was using Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And I just don't think that was the right ink to use. This time I'm going to try using Distress Oxide. Anything that's like a pigment based ink that's kind of chalky should work pretty well for stamping on Hobonichi paper without bleeding through. That's what I'm guessing. So, um, yeah, this one. And it bled through over here. So, or it didn't exactly bleed. Maybe it bled in spots, but it, it shadows and ghosts really bad, really like too much. So I'm gonna try to use um, different inks. So I have Distress Oxide pulled out and then I have a bunch of Allie Edwards um, ink pads pulled out. Now I don't know for sure if they're if they're pigment inks, they certainly feel like it. And I'll probably look online to make sure or to, you know, to verify that. But they actually remind me a lot of the Distress Oxides. So I'm hoping it'll work, but we're going to experiment with it. So I have this Timoe River paper, which is actually a little bit heavier. Um, Hobonichi, I believe, uses 47 GSM. Tomoe River paper and this is 52 GSM but we're going to practice on here first and see how this paper takes this particular ink since I haven't tried it just to make sure so I have this stamp set from Allie Edwards it's nature stories and it has leaves and really cool um, shapes that I think are really pretty for fall so I'm just going to use this solid leaf right here as a stamp to test that um, the ink. My theory being that since it's a chalky ink, that they won't, you know, ghost as badly. So let's see. Oops. Opened that wrong. just rub it on my the palm of my hand to begin with since it's like a brand new stamp um, gonna get rid of the stickiness the acrylic stamps have okay I can feel it getting less sticky first we're gonna try the Ranger distress oxide in ripe persimmon I think this is a really pretty orange color for fall. I don't know how well it matches her um, Mindy's things. But oh, and then this is one of her rolls of washi that I have. I actually got it last year, but I think she still has it in her shop. She has a shop on Etsy and then she has a website called Neat Stuff Sticker Club where she sells stickers and washi and her prints and her zines and her pouches and all of that good stuff. <laughs> but I'm also going to use that because it seems to match pretty well with um, these stickers from the subscription. So I thought I'd use it all. Yeah, so I was wondering, you know, if I, if I don't stamp too heavy, if the ink isn't too heavy, on there then maybe it won't bleed through but we'll see no 
Oh, it did. It's bleeding through a little bit, but not as, yeah. Okay, so what about the second stamp? Yeah. Oh no. The third one? <laughs> that looks pretty light. Yeah, that barely went through. So you can see the ghosting. This one's the first one. The second one. And the third one, when it comes to the ghosting. So, if we're just really careful, I think we could do it. I'm going to also try Allie Edwards. Okay, we'll try her Honeyman. just won't be like as heavy-handed. I might even be a little too heavy-handed, we'll see. And then I'll just very carefully Yeah. Yeah. So, being very careful. The second one was very light and it didn't ghost as badly like you can barely even see that on there. So I'm going to try it. I'm just going to be really careful and maybe even stamp it on, you know, stamp it on one page first and then we'll go and stamp it where I want it. <laughs> stamp it in its final destination. I forgot what it's called when you stamp first somewhere. It's like second generation stamping or something like that. I forgot what it's called exactly, but. So yeah, I just wanna use some of Mindy's Halloween stickers. And then I also have like leaf stickers. Um, you know, like the washi type of material that's leaves and stuff. I wanna mix some of those in there and just have a really cute mix of things and make it really fall and whimsical and cutesy because that's totally my style. Oh, and I wanted, to, duh, okay, if I'm gonna use ink, I'm gonna show you some of the stamps I brought out. So this is a really cool set. This is from Allie Edwards and I can't remember if it's from like a, December daily set or what, but I thought it would be really cool to just stamp out a big 31 on here somewhere just because, you know, that number is really representative of Halloween. So I thought it'd be fun to stamp that out. And then I have a couple alphabet stamps, but I don't know what I would stamp unless I stamped the month just, you know, October. Oh yeah, actually that sounds really good. Yeah, okay. So I'm probably gonna put you guys on fast forward and um, put you guys to music and speed you up a little bit because it can get pretty boring with me sitting here and trying to think through <laughs> everything. But um, yeah, let's do it. Let's have a little fun today. Oh, by the way, these two stamp sets right here, these are Cherry Limeade by Carrie Bradford Studio. And this is this is like the regular size. And then this is the 32 ounce Cherry Limeade where it's bigger. <laughs> and the font is just so cute that I needed to get them both. I normally don't do that, but uh, it's just, it's, it's really creative. I really like how she did the font. So I'm probably gonna use this one so you'll get to see what I mean. But in case you're interested, this one is from Studio Calico. Um, I don't see the name of the set anywhere, but that's where I got it. The 
The number up here is T42238. I don't know like, if you can find it by that, but anyway, it's another cute alpha. Cute and fun. All right. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put you on fast forward and let's play. know about you guys but ooh, I stamped that pretty hard didn't I oh it's fine okay <laughs> I don't know about you guys um, but besides fall being my favorite month or being my favorite season October is my favorite month some of my favorite people were born in October I um, My husband was born in October. My son, he was actually due in September, but he waited to be born in October. <laughs> I think he must have known October is my favorite month, so he waited. I'm looking for an R. My brother, my mother-in-law, they were all born in October. And I have plenty of friends, too, that were also born in October. So, I love October. And then my cat, she, her name is Toby. We call her Toby, but her name is actually October. <laughs> because that's kind of what color she is. She's like all the colors of fall. She's pretty neat. Um, she's a little rescue kitty. And you probably have seen her pop up, like literally pop up onto my table <laughs> in some of my videos. Um, but if not, I'm sure if you've checked out my Instagram page or seen any of my Project Life pages, she's in there for sure. But yeah, October is one of my favorite months. And I wonder if I'm going to have room. There's a, there's a quote from Anne of Green Gables, I believe. And it says something like, I'm so glad to live in a world where we have Octobers or something like that. And I love that quote. And I pretty much write it down in all of my October projects that I've done. So if I have room on here, I might do that. Yeah, October is one of my favorite months. We stay busy with birthdays this month. Oh, and my father-in-law's birthday, actually. And yeah, I just have a lot. I have a brother-in-law. I have um, uh, my husband's uncle. <laughs> we have all kinds of birthdays in October. It's pretty, pretty cool. That's the month for us. I think every family has a month like that where it's just... They have a lot of family member birthdays that month, but yeah. Ours is October. Okay. That's pretty cute so far. You can barely see the 31, but that's okay. 
I think it's cute and it's not bleeding through on the other side. I didn't have a lot to write yesterday anyway. You know what? I do have some really cute, like I pointed out before, like fall stamps. I don't stamp very often and so I know there are some people that stamp all the time and they know how to use them. They they set them up so cool. But I am not like that. So I need to kind of finagle. And when I thought this stamp was cool, it's a um like a plaid checkered plaid. I thought that was cute too. Yeah. yeah, some people are really good at like layering and stuff when it comes to stamps. I am not. I don't practice enough. One of the good things too about the second generation stamping is that it doesn't really smear. It's not lifting. Like on the first generation stamping, it was really lifting and smearing. And I even got some on my desk over here. So yeah, the second generation stamping isn't doing that. So that's really nice. <laughs> so cute. That is looking so, so cute. I might have put this in the wrong place, but it's gonna stay. <laughs> I don't want to risk curling up the edges or ripping the paper or, or anything, so that's gonna stay. But that's pretty cute. It's whimsical and cutesy and um, pretty. At the same time, I think it has some pretty elements as well as being cute and whimsical and it didn't really oh you know what I didn't even think about it the sticker has two sides hello um I'll stick something on the other side there in fact I'll probably stick just another sticker down and line it up as well as I can. There we go. There we go. That's cute. I think it's cute. I think every time I open to this page to October in my Hobini G, I'm going to be really happy. <laughs> I thought this was cute because it reminds me of um, Hamlet. <laughs> He's holding the, the skull in his hand and talking to him. But um, 
it's been a long time since I've read that, so you know that might be way off. It's I think I've read it in high school. But yeah, what do you guys think? Is that cute? Is that cute enough for October? My favorite month of the year. I like leaving a lot of white space on pages. So I didn't feel the need to fill that up or anything. But I think it's cute. Maybe I'll decorate um, the my today, October second, since since it's October second. Let's see. Put Sally on here. You know, usually I, I'm kind of in a hurry. I think like the moment it hits September, I am decorating for fall. And in fact, I probably even start taking our fall decorations out of storage in August so, to be ready for September. But I didn't do that this year. Oh, wait, hold on. I got these word strip stickers that I love. I wonder if I could use any. You know, this is the first time I've ever decorated this front page of the month. I'm gonna do this every month, I think. This is cute. Um, um, I've ordered a few other planners to test out. This looks good in a lot of places. <laughs> ordered a few other planners so I can look at them in person and feel them and see the size and the layouts and everything and I don't know I can't remember if they all have like a, a month page like this so I don't know if I'll be able to do this next year but I like it I'm really liking it super cute ah don't know where to put this Maybe right here. I think my fo most favorite is right here. That look, oh no. You know what, actually? I think there's a, a sticker on here that says hello. The only reason I'm thinking about not putting this here is because it's repetitive. It says hello October and then it says October again so I don't think I'm gonna put that there but there's other really cute things like we have a happy so this is happy October that's too little though hmm what if I were to put like slow down and savor the moment is that too long And you can't really see the 31. Am I overthinking this? <laughs> My husband would say I'm overthinking this. I like that slow down and savor the moment though. You know, I'm gonna leave that out just in case. I decide to use that. Ooh, sweater weather. Here we go. Here we go. That's cute. I really like this quote though. for funsies let's decorate today since I'm here look at this little girl hugging her ghost isn't that cute she's going on there 
she's going on there. There we go. I never know how much to decorate a page that I haven't written on yet because I might have a lot to say. But if I do end up having a lot to say, you know, part of this is blank. I could go over here or I could do a tip in or something, but. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't know where to. Tear this. Frankenstein and a bride of Frankenstein down there so they can get tore off but these little cuties a little spider and stuff a little spider and kitty and pumpkins and skeleton and a bat few things, a couple things that I really like adding are these stickers. They're supposed to be copper, but they don't really look copper. I guess, I guess they can pass for copper. I like these little stickers and then this copper tape. It's like a, it's a copper foil tape is really cool. And it's even like, it really is copper because it's metal like aluminum foil. It's really cool. I think I kind of want to put a little strip or a little dot on one of these. Maybe. Because I like doing this one and I just rip it off. Like I don't cut it. I rip it off and then I, I crinkle it up a little bit. Like you would aluminum foil. It's really cool. And then stick it on somewhere. There's gonna be lots of layers down here, I think. <laughs> Which is fine. I like layers. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's cute. That's cute, you guys. And then I'll probably just stick one of these little circle stickers. Somewhere, like right there. That's cute. And there we have it. That is my October front page for my Hobonichi. And October 2nd is decorated. Yay! That's so cute. I'm very happy with that. So, this, yeah, this journaling isn't mind blowing or anything. So, I don't mind. <laughs> you guys look at that. It's like, the movie I watched that day and the fact that I canceled a subscription so but that's it for today you guys thank you so much for joining me today um I hope you enjoyed this type of video if you have any questions or comments or suggestions please leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can thanks so much guys take care of yourselves bye